Joining me now is Dr. Marshall Shepard. He's the outgoing president of the American Meteorological Society. And thanks for joining us, Dr. Shepard. And usually people have a, a point in their childhood. What is your childhood story of how you got into meteorology? I wanted to be an entomologist as a kid, and so I used to catch bees in the yard. Got stung by one and found that I was highly allergic to bee stings. This was around the time that I was trying to find a science project and I switched to weather. After I really found out that I wanted to be a meteorologist, I started looking around at what programs. I, I grew up in the metropolitan Atlanta area and I wanted to go to a school that had a good meteorology program at the time. Neither Georgia Tech or University of Georgia had such programs they do now. Florida State was relatively close by, but it was far enough away that I can get away from home. And so ended up going to Florida State and majoring in meteorology. And uh, from that point on, I, I, I knew I wanted to go more into the research and development side of the house. So I went on to graduate school, ultimately getting a PhD in, in meteorology from Florida State. And spent the first 12 years of my career at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. And at NASA, I worked on various weather and climate missions to study the planet from the perspective of weather. And um, that was really a great experience, and at that time, that's when I realized there, when I would go to a lot of meetings, AMS meetings, uh, not a lot of other colleagues that look like me in those fields. So, you know, it's very important, and I've, I've tried to tell a story and, and, and be a, a mentor for others to try to get more uh, African Americans into the field of atmospheric sciences, weather, and climate. During my time at, at, at Florida State University, uh, it, it turns out that I, I, I ended up being the first African American to receive a PhD in meteorology from Florida State. We have to break down the images that are out there as well in terms of what science is. You can love science and math, but still like sports and do things that other people do. We're facing challenges at this time in terms of uh, extreme weather events like we recently saw in Atlanta, Georgia, a climate that's changing, uh, information and misinformation on how public consumes watches and warnings. So how do you plan to convince people that climate change is real? Look, climate change is not about polar bears or environmental movements. It's about our kids. It's about what you're paying for cereal that you eat every morning. Uh, all aspects of our society are, are affected by weather and climate, and uh, climate change is often viewed, particularly in the African American community, as something way off in the future or something that the, those folks up there in Canada or in Alaska care about. Can you finish this sentence? Marshall Shepard is... Marshall Shepard is passionate about things that are matter to him and will go the extra mile for those things. Marshall, thank, thank you. you so much. Yes. Fantastic.